hello and welcome to easy maths this is the very last video on a series of lessons on the topic of commercial arithmetics 2 we're going to turn our focus on some questions on the area of income tax and so let's turn there we know that income tax is charged on annual income at the rates shown in this table here and we're given some information where we told the personal relief is 1056 insurance relief is 480 and then Mr. Onyango earns a basic salary of 13800 per month. In addition to salary, he gets a house allowance of 8000 medical allowance of 1800 So calculate the follows. Now we go, the first question is taxable income. And therefore, it's just basic salary plus all allowances. Basic is 13800 We only have two allowances of 8000 and 1800 which are these two here. Um, 8000 and 1800 which gives us a... 23,600. Now, interesting on the table, we're given the heading here is taxable income and it's annual and it's part in, it's in Kenya pounds. So these figures are in Kenya pounds. And that tells us for us to calculate Mr. Onyango's net tax per month in Kenya shillings in Roman 2, we need to get the answer here to be in pounds. Paranum, so that we can use this table so that you can get the, the figure there let me go that again I'm saying we need to first of all get the answer here in Kenya pounds per annum so that we can look for um, we can proceed because of the table we are given the table has Kenya pounds per annum that's the reason we are having to use this figure as Kenya pounds per annum and so this is what we're going to do we divide by 20 and multiply by 12 to get uh, uh, 14 160 pounds we need that that way so Roman 2 we told to get Mr. Onyango's net tax per month in Kenya shillings and so um, please notice that the, the figures we have, we have in the table here are in um, multiples of 2300 you see this is 1 to 2300 times 2 would be this times 3 would be this times 4 should be this and all that so subtracting 2300 from 4600 gives us 2300 Subtracting 4600 from 6900 gives us 2300. Subtracting 6900 minus 92 from 9200 gives us 2300. And all three we're going to be getting 2300. So it's simple. As we operate this, we can do this. Gross tax is going to be simply 2300 times 2. That's the first slab. Gives us 4600. Uh, in the second slab, we have 2300 times 3. That gives us uh, 6900. That's the second slab. The third slab is going to be um, 2300 times 5, which gives us 11500. In the fourth slab, we're going to, to have 2300 times 7, which gives us 16100. And we have in the fifth slab, 2300 times 9, which gives us um, 2700. I should say another thing. We're told it is that the rate here is a rate in shillings per Kenya pound. Therefore, it means for every Kenya pound, the person is charged 2 shillings in the first slab. That means for every pound 2 shillings, we just need to get the 2300 then, since that's the income is past that, so we have 2300 times 2. In this case, we still have 2300 because uh, 2300, 2301 to 4600 is 2300 uh, Kenya pounds, and so uh, for every pound, shilling, 3 shillings again is charged, and so we just multiply that figure by 3. And that's why we are multiplying and not doing as we did in a previous example or even in the next example we're going to be looking at. Now, in the next slab, that is the sixth slab, is done slightly different. You see, this 14,160 is above 11,500. By how much? And that is in the last slab here. So we're going to have uh, this figure minus 11,500. We multiply that by 10. So we get it this way. That comes at uh, 26,600. Now, that means, therefore, gross tax is the sum of all of these figures and it's shillings per Kenya pound because as we were multiplying here we were getting shillings every time so we add these ones we get this it's shillings and it's per month and uh, and therefore um dividing that by 12 is um 7200 shillings per month now the question is a uh, net tax so net tax would be net gross minus tax relief and we have the two tax reliefs we just add 1056 and 480 subtract from 7200 that gives us 5664 that's the answer for Roman 2 moving on to Roman 3 we have um, 
net income, which is a taxable income minus all deductions. And we don't have any other deduction here besides the net tax. And so we're going to have uh, 23,600 minus 56,64. Why is it so? Because this, this figure here was taxable income in shillings per month. The deduction we got here, which is net tax, is also shillings per month. And therefore, we should, we should subtract this 26, 23,600 minus uh, 5664. That gives us the answer we are desiring. 17,936 shillings per month. That's the, the answer for Roman tree. We move on to another example. So the table below shows the taxation rates in Kenya, and there is a table, and we're given some information. Simple servant whose base salary is 20,000 is provided with a house and pays nominal rent of 6260. In addition, the government gives him taxable allowances amounting to 16,000. There's personal relief of 1520. He has a life insurance policy for which he pays um, 1,200 shillings per month and claims an insurance relief at the rate of 3 shillings per Kenyan pound. Apart from pays you and insurance, his other monthly deductions are WCPS, which is 20 which is 2% of basic salary, help of 4,000, cooperative shares of 6,000. Calculate the following there. And so we go to the first one, taxable income. Now, it looks from the information given here that the person is housed by an employer because we know the person pays nominal rent of 6260. Taxable income, therefore, is going to be 115% of basic salary minus nominal rent plus all allowances because the person is housed by the employer. We are actually given the nominal rent. That's how we knew. And then we're going to have 115% of 20,000. That's the base salary. Minus the nominal rent plus all allowances. And that's going to give us 32,740. And as we do every question on income tax, when you've got a taxable income, you ask yourself, where is it? In which lab here? It's past 27,920. It's before 37,040. It's good to know that. Roman 2, we are told to look for net tax. It's per month. And by the way, in this question, everything is given per month, so we should not be careful about converting from, from years to months. Now, gross tax minus tax relief gives us net tax. The gross tax needs to be operated as follows. In the first lab, we are told the heading here is monthly taxable income in Ken shillings per month, and tax rate is just a percentage of that. The income there is in the first lab is just, sorry, the tax in the first lab bracket, first lab there will be 10% of 9680 which is that figure there which is 968 the second one will be 15% of 18800 minus 9680 which is 9120 and it's going to be 9120 times 15% of that uh, because of the rate here and that answer is going to be 1368 moving on to the third one it's going to be 9120 times 20% the reason is we have 27920 minus 18800 we multiply by 20% that gives us 1824 However, in the next slab, the fourth slab, we're going to have to operate it differently because we say that this taxable income is beyond 27,920 and it's before 37,040. So we get this figure, subtract 27,920, get the excess of this particular slab, which is the second, which is the next slab here, multiplied by 25%. As it's indicated here, the answer is 12 or 5. Now, if that's the answer, therefore, we need to get the gross tax by just adding all of these figures, and it's going to give us 5,365. Now, net tax, therefore, is going to be um, 5,365 plus 1,520, sorry, minus, in brackets, the sum of 1,520, which is um, a relief, personal relief of 1,520. And then this figure here is operated this way because... We told that this person has a life insurance policy. The person pays premium of premiums of 1,200 shillings per month. And that one makes the person pay insurance relief at a rate of 3% per, sorry, 3 shillings per Kenya pound for the premiums. So if it's 3 shillings for every Kenya pound, we ask ourselves, how many Kenya pounds are there in the premiums of 1,200? So you get 1,200 divided by 20, you get some answer and that answer you multiply by three so 1200 divided by 20 gives, in, gives, gives us 60 you multiply by three you get i think one 180 180 you add 1520 so that you get the total tax relief or reduction of the tax burden which you subtract from the gross tax and that gives you um net tax of 3665 
We move on to Roman 3 where we told to calculate net income. This is going to be taxable income minus all deductions. All deductions include net tax. Then there's this uh, um, money that goes to an insurance of 1200 There's WCPS, which is 2% of basic salary, help of 4000 and uh, cooperative shares of 600 and Therefore, we just need to have that figure. 32740 is taxable income minus net tax. Um, this is um, insurance. 2% of basic salary goes to WCPS. This is help. And these are the cooperative shares. And so that gives us 22,875. And that is the answer for Roman. And that is the, the all that I had for the topic of commercial arithmetic 2. Check out for more on the topic of circles, cores, and tangents coming shortly after this video. Thank you.